okay welcome back to another video okay now we're gonna solve the also the Laplace equation but now we have uh, something new in the problem for example this problem is number 11 from the textbook also uh, it says solve the Laplace equation you have the equation for the semi-infinite plate so semi-infinite that means the plate here is bounded then the plate on top goes until the infinity we don't know until where keeps growing the plate we don't know where okay so that means like it is open the other side not that it is open but well we don't know where it's where it closes and uh, it says like semi-infinite extending in a positive y direction so the plate extends to the positive y direction keeps growing yeah it keeps there okay but then say assume that u x y is bounded at y infinity Okay, we're going to see what that means later. The first step is the same as previously. We just need to separate the equation. Okay, let me take the bounded condition from the figure I have. Usually, u is a function of x and y. So here, u for any y here, for any y when x is 0, x is here for any y here around here the temperature is zero then for when x is pi for any temp any y here in the vertical for any y when x is equal pi is also zero then i have u here for any x around here, any x, when y is 0, you have fx. Like that. Then say, okay, uh, assume y is bounded. If y goes to infinity, no y. u is bounded. So these are the conditions from the figure. Now you need to solve. Okay, let me separate. I'm gonna go pretty fast from from uh to separate because we did in the previous equation x y, then you have second derivative x squared, then goes to x, then goes to y, then you have u y squared, you have x y double prime, then you uh, if I still remember, then you sub to the equation x y double prime. When you this there's some minus here, then you have x over x equal to uh, minus y over y. I'm gonna say equal to lambda. Then you separate. You have x double prime minus lambda x equal to zero. And you have y double prime plus lambda y equal to zero. Okay, I'm going to do uh, case one. If lambda zero, if lambda zero, this case you just have, okay, x equal to c1 x plus c2. And from here, from this, from this, you have x0 equal to 0 and you have x pi equal to 0 when you solve for the constant you find c1 equal to c2 equal just to 0 then you have a trivial condition which means u x y equal to 0 is no solution so we just go to the case 2 i'm gonna say lambda is negative Then I have x plus alpha x equal to 0, y minus y equal to 0. Okay, from here, you get x, c3 cos alpha x plus c4 sine alpha x, like that. Okay, I need to find C3 and C4. X0. C3. Cos 0. Plus C4. 
sign zero has to be equal to zero it has to be equal to zero then from here c3 just zero now c x pi c3 zero that means you have c4 sine of pi alpha has to be equal to zero okay i cannot have also c4 to zero then there's no solution then when i say okay c4 different than zero then imply that c n pi uh okay sine of pi alpha has to be equal to zero then alpha pi has to be equal to n pi for n equal to one two and so on then you have alpha equal to n for n equal to one two three and so on okay from that's your alpha then from here you have x equal to c3 and c3 we found zero so you have c4 which we don't know sine alpha is n x for n one two and so on now you need to solve also for y now if you solve for y you have the equation for y now you have y c6 uh, alpha y plus c7 alpha y now i won't use hyperbolic cos or sine because the region is not bounded like for y is bounded here is limited here but here it's kind of got to infinite so that means it's kind of is semi-infinite it's not really bounded in y it is open so that means i'm gonna use this solution so that's the difference there between how and when you use hyperbolic sign and when you just use the exponential form okay then you have u x y equal to c4 sine of nx times y which is c6 plus c7 like that for n equal to 1 Two and so on then you the general solution summation 1 to infinity c4 times c6 I'm gonna have a n what is alpha alpha is n plus c4 times c7 gives me bn minus n y times sine of n x now i need to solve for this constant now i'm going to use the two other conditions one condition is this one condition is u for any x when y is zero equal to fx then i'm going to use okay u x y okay y is zero I'm gonna have summation n1 infinity a n plus b n sine of n pi x oh n x not n pi this has to be equal to fx if i say that all of this is just some constant c n then i have c n equal to 2 Fourier series of sine 2 over length pi 0 until pi fx sine of n nx dx like that okay <laughs> okay then you have that this is your your cn right then that means a n plus b n equal to 2 over pi 0 to pi 
fx sine of nx dx now you need to also because this is you, you actually didn't you didn't find a n or b n so i'm going to use another condition this says that as y goes to infinity u is bounded right okay then i'm going to use u as y goes to infinity u is bounded I go here to this solution that we found to this solution ux as y goes to infinity i have summation n1 to infinity then i have a n infinity plus b n minus infinity then i have sine n x like that okay I see that this, this term goes to zero. This term goes to infinity. Then if I sum, everything goes to infinity. It's not bounded. But this states that as y goes to infinity, the temperature u has to be bounded, right? So for this to happen, an has to be zero for u to be bounded. be bounded because if a n is zero then cancel this part then this term is going to be just zero then the result is bounded because if a n is different than zero then this function grows there is not bounded so that means a n has to be equal to zero from here from the second form we have b n is just two over pi zero to pi fx sine of nx dx that should be n then you just sub to the to the equation then you get the particular solution for this case y equal to summation a n is just zero then you just end up with b n b n is two over pi zero pi fx sine of nx dx e minus alpha is n y times sine n x so this is the this is the general solution no this is the particular solution in this case for this problem this is the solution you are not given some any function for the temperature so just leave it like that if you are given then you just solve this and then you apply it in matlab so you just see the key here the point uh the key is here use this one use this expression e expression because the plate here is pretty much is not bounded it's semi-infinite the plate grows until infinity until the until the infinity so you have to to have e instead of uh, the hyperbolic hyperbolic cos and hyperbolic sine okay for the next video i will move to non-homogeneous problems and i'll advise you to actually master this type of problem that we have been solving will be solving so far because these are requisites to actually solve the non-homogeneous so see you in the next video